With the Elite Eight and Final Four games set for the same day, the city realizes the mountaintop is indeed getting closer, but the climb isn't getting any easier. Elite Eight Saturday, back at McClellan High School for our, our ritual pregame warm-up. Uh, we are playing against Team Penny from Memphis, Tennessee. Ready to get these two wins today, make it to the chip. Win that game too. With only eight teams remaining in the national tournament, the excitement and stakes are very high. Not to mention the emotion and intensity. As the action continues to heat up in the first half, the city begins to take charge of the game. That is until Mustafa Jones lets his emotions get the better of him while fighting for position. Which results in him being ejected from the game. And I'm gonna tell you what's been the happen. This game is gonna straighten up. It's 19 seconds in this hand. We gonna straighten this game up. We can talk to you guys. Every time somebody springs on somebody, touch it. Understand. We gotta straighten this game understood. up. We understand. Understood. The stoppage and ejection slow the city's momentum and give Team Penny new life headed into halftime. Where Coach RJ has a clear message for the guys. All the way through. He's right now, I'm telling you right now, the other coach is getting these guys together and he's riling them up and they're gonna be ready to go. Alright, don't play through this whole We have a 16 minutes of basketball left. This is why we practice the way we do, guys. Alright? Yeah, this is exactly why we practice the way we do. That's why we don't call fouls on the drills. For this, for this reason, we're gonna have to have a lot, a lot of toughness this half. You understand? Look at me. We are better than those guys. Okay? We have to go ahead and show it on the floor, okay? You understand? No, hey, listen to me, listen to me. And we need to stay together. Anytime the whistle is blown, we got to come together. Yeah, what? The second half is a back and forth battle with both teams making big plays, as the talent on the court is evident on both sides. Let's see what we're made of. Let's see what we're, let's see who steps up. Let's see who steps up. Let's All right, go. 13 on the make, 11 on the miss. All right, be First smart with the ball. Win this game. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work.
need of poise and scoring down the stretch. Michael Williams answers the call with his timely shooting and finishing in transition. Yeah, one stop, one stop. Once Coach knew we got the win down pack, he told me not to go on the on, on the handshake line. Don't shake hands. You shake hands. Don't say words. Don't sit next to Mike. But you know what? Walk around and get us in the back. Okay. The end of the game is the clock is running out. They kind of a couple of their players, you know, walked up to me and just they were almost like if Mike and I we were just walking towards our bench because they obviously wanted to start something. We're not shaking their hands. No, no, no. No, we're not. No, we're not. Right after the game, I was walking towards the stairs so we can go up. I didn't want to shake their hands because I knew something was going to happen. They're going to fight. Oh, 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 oh. You don't shake their hands. Okay, I got it. I got it. Got it. We were lo reluctant to shake their hands. Coach Bobby said we even sh shouldn't do it. And their coach was like, I can't believe you're not going to shake our hands. Like, that's, un that's not class here. Can I talk to you, please? No, yo, come on. Shake hands. Yo, come on. Yo, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Yo. And I woke, shook everybody's hand. And nothing happened when I walked by. I was in the back, and as soon as we, it was to my turn to shake hands, I seen um the number ten kid start walking towards our bench. I think he was looking after Mustafa. And then. I remember seeing one of the guy push and coach was like, stop, stop. And then I turned around and they were going towards Mustafa and Mike and Eric. When we shook, shook hands, they were still talking. I got pushed. Yo, yo, we're in the back, we're in the back. Go in the back. And then once I saw the kid with the parades come, that's when everything just went crazy. It just went from happiness after beating Team Penny to just complete chaos. Next you know there's a huge fight going on. The punches being thrown, uh, parents getting in a mix of everything. It just seemed like the whole gym turned into like a battle scene from a war movie. It's like one one uh, situation accumulated to something else that was like untamable. I was very surprised. Like our coaches actually had to protect us and that's not their job. Their job is to coach the kids. It was like ridiculous and there was no security, no one there to help us. It was only us and our coaches, so, and the parents, so it was really, we we're all by ourselves against the whole gym.